Hi, my name is Sangha Lindsay. I'm in North Vancouver. We're standing on our edible green roof today and the ground is just starting to thaw. Perfect time to start thinking about growing your onions, your garlic, your shallots. Today we're going to start planting some of our red onions and we're going to plant with two different uh, spacings and you'll see why in one sec. We want green onions, for example, we want to look at a spacing of uh, one inch deep, whole, uh, two inches apart. What we want to do is we want to create fast growing green onions that will be able to harvest all spring and summer. And so it's as simple as this. Here's your typical bulb. The fat end is where the roots come out. The tapered end is where the green uh, germinates from. So your spacing for your green onions is simply one inch by two inches because you're going to have a fast crop. And in fact, you can start alternating crops every three weeks. You can start planting a new row so that you have a constant harvest. And as any great chef knows, onions are one of the key ingredients to many dishes, to many of the flavors, in sauces, as well as other culinary dishes. So it's just as simple as this, one inch deep, two inches apart for green onions. Now, if you're looking at fall onions, they take a little longer. So we're going to go over to this side of the bed. Again, the same rule applies. One inch deep, and you want your onions about four inches apart because what will happen is you'll have, at the end of the day, an onion that's, you know, two, four inches um, in diameter. So you want to give these guys enough space to grow, grow throughout the summer. And it's as simple as that. You want to make sure that your onions stay well watered during the summer. A lesson I learned last year, by allowing them to dry out, you, in essence, will diminish your crop. So they need lots of water, lots of sunshine. And as a little side note, onions and garlic, as you can see over in the background, we have onions and garlic from last season growing that we'll be harvesting early this year. They make a great companion plant for our strawberries, and as you can see, we've got our strawberries already starting to germinate. Great companion plant, perfect for controlling diseases and pests, which uh, generally like to eat on our strawberries. So, if you want any more information on how to grow onions or scallions or shallots, please visit our website at www.sangadesigns.com. Thanks for watching.